Okay, a simple way to make beams of light. Let's start by, well, I don't know, make a new image. And let's put in a gradient. Let's do a gradient that I like. We'll do this one, we'll do this one. Now you notice we already sort of have a beam of light just by choosing that second gradient and putting that line there. But let's enhance that. So you make a new layer, switch this to white, choose the paint bucket tool, make opacity, just 10% and press and press. And that's actually 20%, but that kind of gives you what you need. So let's take the move tool, right click, free transform, and let's take this middle one, transform whatever that is, and let's just kind of shape it into a beam. See, all this is is just another layer that is mostly transparent. Okay, so we have that. Let's retransform again, and this will switch back to the regular one. And have this kind of follow along our beam tray like that. Now we can kind of darken this up to enhance that a little bit if we wanted, do a saturation, kind of do that. And we can blur this out, filters, blur, Gaussian blur. It doesn't have to be all the way blurry. And then I added some sparkles, which that was pretty easy to do. I did it in Photoshop, but it's pretty easy to do here. We just take a new layer and a paintbrush. And let's go to 3D brushes. And let's choose these right here. We're going to do a random rotate. We're going to do spacing like that. We're going to do scattering. And let's say auto orient. I don't know what that does, but we should have also turn the flow all the way up. This gives us some, if we just run our mouse, it just gives us some different sizes. And we can change to another brush if we want. We can make it a little bit bigger, make it a little bigger, a few little bigger ones. And you can have this beam go over things too, like if we make a new layer. Let's just uh, switch back to black. And so you literally want to have it go over, we'll have it go over whatever this thing is, this orb. And let's take that orb, move it down underneath the beam. And let's kind of free transform that again. And let's go ahead and use that other transform tool so we kind of give it a little bit of dimension. Make it look like an alien rock or something. Okay, and regular transform. A little bigger so part of it goes out of the beam. And you'll see that part of it's covered by the beam, although I don't like it that big, so I'm gonna I'm going to shrink it down again. Maybe even change the color. Let's make it a nice gold. You can also, on this rock or whatever that thing is now, go to the blur tool, but don't use blur, go to the sunshine tool here. Take your circle down to the second blurry one. Turn your strength down to about, oh, 12% is good. Make your size bigger. And you can kind of enhance where it's getting hit by light. Make that lighter. And then the cloud, make it darker underneath. And one more on the sunshine, it was kind of, oops, sunshine. Kind of give it a little bit of roundness there by. And I don't have no idea what this is, I'm just making all this up on the fly, but I want to change this color now. Let's give it a saturation. The color looks best with that. You stop me when you pick it out, I. <laughs> oh. one did, but for some reason I want it to be a little bit more blue like that, a little darker like that. And if you wanted to, you could take this beam of light, make sure this track of the sparkles underneath that doesn't make a difference. Filter, whoops, excuse me. Filter, let's distort, twirl. I don't think I like that especially, but Filters blur, Gaussian blur. And let's 
take these sparkles. I just want to try putting them in a different like overlay to see if that does anything. It does sort of our light. Mm -hmm. I see. Let's leave them in overlay and then duplicate that. And we get to start another layer. This is just going over the top here. I was just going to do a five second video, but you know how I am. Filters, noise, clouds. Actually, let's do filters, noise, part of the noise. And let's kind of cloud up these shapes of whatever they are. Okay, let's do grayscale. And it's black and white enough, so I'll put that on the screen. Let's move that down a little bit. Now it looks like we need another beam. We'll duplicate that layer. Duplicate again. And I don't know if I like that, but that's okay. Try that. That looks kind of cool. Okay, so let's call that done. Um, so that's how you make a beam. <laughs> uh, you can do it lots of other ways, but that was how I thought of to do it quick on the fly. So bye.